Hey, welcome back to our Achievement Hunter series, aimed at delivering quick, efficient, and occasionally wacky ways of capturing the Alterac Valley gameplay achievements. This time, we're set to devour the Priest and Paladin achievements. Let's get into it. Huh, this should be interesting. For today's video, we're taking on each of the Priest and Paladin achievements. Since none of these demand that we win games to complete them, a number of the decks take unusual approaches when it will aid us in having fun or being more efficient. All of our achievement guides contain timestamps for each achievement and deck codes for each deck mentioned in the description below in case you'd like to skip to one you're looking for. Now, let's follow our spirit guide through these achievements. The first priest achievement we're set to tackle is Salvation Army, where we need to summon 30 minions with deliverance. So that means we need to get honorable kills, or exact lethal, on 30 minions with deliverance. The standard deck we're introducing for this one uses the quest line as one more way to cycle through the deck and find the copies of deliverance alongside Thrive in the Shadows. It's also possible to get an extra copy or two of Deliverance thanks to Educated Elik. While Sethic Veilweaver won't give you a spell if you choose to target it with Deliverance, it will become a more aggressively statted 3-3, and if it sticks around, there's a chance you could generate another Deliverance. Venomous Scorpid can also serve as a mediocre target if the opponent refuses to play minions you can honorably kill and Zyrella the Devout can get you some early progress towards the next achievement. Other than that, the deck plays like any other control quest priest. In Wild, there's a much bigger upside to targeting your own minions with Deliverance, as an extra Serpent Egg or Devilsar Egg with 3 attack alongside its contents can be quite threatening. Depending on the matchup, Reliquary of Souls, Plated Beetle and Albatross can provide decent value as well when you're not targeting your opponent's minions. Shadow Visions joins Educated Elik in this build to provide even more chances to play multiple deliverances per game. The win rate with both of these decks were well below 50%, so if you prefer maintaining a high win rate over extra progress opportunities per game, Slotting Deliverance into almost any Control Priest deck that doesn't care about the res pool being carefully maintained should do the trick. Good luck forcing Salvation on at least 30 minions. Next up, we've got the 3 tier achievement for Priests, which ultimately asks us to have Zyrella the Devout remember and trigger the death rattles of 200 friendly minions. This one does require having a copy of Zyrella the Devout, so if you don't have her, adapting a Snowfall Graveyard Rogue to include Plagiarize and Vanessa Van Cleef to steal a copy of Zyrella can get progress. But getting 200 triggers when you're going that route may take longer than training for a marathon, so I wouldn't really recommend it. If you do have her, the deck we've got for standard takes the approach of running tons of death rattles so that when you do draw Zyrella, we'll get lots of progress. And Lorekeeper Polkelt does help improve the chances of drawing Zyrella while letting us summon a sizable board with Nzoth to make Zyrella even better while buying us extra time to draw and play her. In Wild, we went a different direction. We're still running a fair number of death rattles, but they're cheap, we can res lots of copies of them, and by the time we have enough mana to play Zyrella, there's usually enough death rattles in the pool to completely obliterate the opponent. The games with this deck go very quickly, and we've played it a lot more than this achievement requires because it's fun and strong. Currently we're sitting at a 64% win rate across 64 games. A funny coincidence. It was good enough that we've got a highlight video coming out on Tuesday, which we'll link in the description after it goes live, so check that out if you'd like to see the deck in action. Repeating 200 death rattles may seem like a daunting task, but both of these decks can hit over 10 death rattles per game fairly consistently, so it should go quite quickly. Best of luck remembering how many death rattle minions died earlier in the game when you're ready to play Zyrella. 
At the time of writing the script for this guide, several of the achievements are still bugged. Gesundheit is one of them. As it is right now, if you want to complete this achievement, you have to give a minion all 200 attack with a single bless instead of doing it gradually. There is a semi-reliable way to do that in Wild, which we will cover briefly, but the main decks we're introducing are meant to gain decent progress per game once the bug has been corrected. This Blessed Miracle Priest from HS Replay uses Sethic Veilweaver and Nazmani Bloodweaver alongside Drek'thar to generate and cheaply buff a minion to fairly high stats before casting Bless to make it a sizable threat. Shadow Word Devour is particularly good for gaining lots of health without buffing the attack so that you get more progress with Bless. As everyone can get a copy of Drek'thar either from the start or after gaining enough honor from playing during this expansion, this is one of the cheaper achievement hunting decks we're recommending. Though the deck in Wild is even cheaper. This Bless Combo Priest by Winter Dream uses Radiant Elemental to cheat out a lot of buffs alongside Divine Spirit to make massive health minions in a single turn. We were consistently able to make 40 or larger attack buffs with Bless when testing this deck out, and that was without getting extra copies of Divine Spirit from Shadow Visions. With quite a bit of luck, it would actually be possible to complete the bugged version of this achievement with this deck, but we'd recommend waiting until the bug is fixed to go after this one. However. If you really don't want to wait, and you want to challenge your play speed while cursing animation times, you can try out this Bless Test Subject Priest by Avalon. The combo which can get you to well over a 200 attack buff with Bless is to play Test Subject with three Radiant Elementals on board when you have both copies of Divine Spirit as well as Topsy Turvy and another Vivid Nightmare in hand. To get the third Radiant Elemental, you'll need to use the first copy of Vivid Nightmare. To pull off the combo, you buff the test subject with Divine Spirit twice, copy him with Vivid Nightmare, and then kill the copy with Topsy Turvy, returning the Divine Spirits, Vivid Nightmare, and Topsy Turvy to hand. Repeat as many times as it takes to make the test subject have at least 198 health then cast Bless on him, and you'll complete the achievement. It'll be a bit tricky to survive long enough to gather all the combo pieces, and the combo turn will be a rush, but it is possible. Whenever you go after this, have a fun time blessing your minions enough that the opponent sneezes in shock. Of course, priests aren't the only ones with an achievement to buff minions quite a bit. Paladins need to buff Sidon the Scarlet to at least 25 attack to knock out the Not Maroon, Not Crimson, Scarlet achievement. This one does require Sidon the Scarlet, but unlike the hero cards, it should be possible to discover Sidon in the arena or duels buckets if you don't have him. You will need a fair number of buff cards to pull this off so aiming for him in a duels deck with a deck running lots of buffs may be your best bet if you don't own a copy of him. In standard, this paladin deck is running just about as many buff cards as we could cram in while keeping it viable. Since all buffs on Sidon are doubled, you just need 14 damage worth of buffs to hit him while he's in your hand or on the board. Then, as long as your opponent has a minion that doesn't have Divine Shield, rush him in for achievement complete. That's it. In Wild, we can have a little more fun with all the buffs we give Sidon. If after we buff him to 25 or more attack and send him into an enemy minion, we play Righteous Defense on him to send all the extra stats to a Stone Tusk Boar hiding in her hand for a 1 mana massive charging finisher. You'll need a discount or two from Carriel Rome in order to go really big with Sidon into the charge OTK, but this build is really good at cycling through the deck to find Carriel, Sidon, and the buff cards you'll need. Best of luck making your opponent's face 
turns scarlet. Now for the Paladin achievement, which is probably the most challenging once certain bugs are fixed. Bold and Brass calls on us to restore 150 health with Brasswing. If we just relied on the end of turn effect for progress, we'd have to kill 38 exactly 2 health minions to complete this. Please don't go after it that way. Your sanity will slip away and you won't be able to watch any more of our videos. Clearly your highest priority to avoid insanity. Although I believe killing a 9 health minion with Brasswing's body will also heal you, there are more efficient ways to knock this out. Unfortunately, in standard, the only way to get extra progress towards this achievement is with the single turn lifesteal effect from Hold the Bridge. Since Brasswing is 8 mana and Hold the Bridge is 3 mana, you'll need to cheat out Brasswing for cheaper with cards like Commencement or Cavalry Horn or have Brasswing survive on board for a turn in order to play Hold the Bridge on it. The end of turn effect will get you 2 points of progress per enemy minion plus the enemy hero, but it's definitely nice to get 9 extra points when you're able to stick Brasswing to the board for a turn and then buff it. That is, if you've taken enough damage to get the full restored health benefit Brasswing can offer. That challenge is one more reason this Prismatic Brasswing deck in Wild feels so much faster for knocking this out. High Priest the Call can ensure you've got 29 health available to be restored, and Prismatic Lens can help you cheat out Brasswing even faster. Also, the Lifesteal buff from Lightforged Blessing doesn't last for just one turn so it's possible to get tons of progress from a single Lightforge Blessed Brasswing. It will be a little sad when Prismatic Lens hits the call, but you do have Call to Adventure to yank the call from the deck before Prismatic Lens, and the second copy can pull Brasswing from the deck if you've got enough mana to play it out at full cost. Redemption and Desperate Stand can also help Brasswing stick around. So this deck is very efficient at knocking this achievement out. And it is fun to see opponents reactions to a turn 5 lifesteal buffed Brasswing. Have fun being bold and healing tons with Brasswing. And finally, it would seem no one is worthy to finish the final Paladin achievement until the bug blocking this one is fixed. The you are not worthy achievement requires preventing 300 damage with Lightforge Cariel's weapon. Just like for Rakara's achievement, it is possible to steal the immovable object with Cobalt Sticky Finger in Wild, or get a copy of Cariel with Plagiarize or Vanessa Van Cleef in Rogue. But it seems the hurdle for many of the hero card based achievements is overwhelmingly high. When you do get the immovable object, it'll probably be possible to get quite a bit of progress once the bug is fixed, especially if you're playing a deck with a decent bit of healing, but I'd be surprised if you can average above 50 damage prevented per game, meaning you have to pull off the steal at least 6 times. These not being available in duels or arena makes the achievement requirements extremely punishing to achievement hunters without the hero cards. So unless Blizzard does something unexpected, you may want to pass on this one if you're missing Cariel. Now once this achievement is working properly, it'll probably be possible to get progress quite quickly just playing any deck running Lightforge Cariel. However, it is possible to speed things along even faster if you're willing to make some very peculiar plays. As you might guess from the name of the deck, who are we buffing? Paladin provides you with the choice to buff your own minions or to buff the opponent's minions so that your weapon can block even more damage. With Librams of Hope to heal you back up, it should be possible to get quite a bit of extra progress per game with this deck. However, this Are You Worthy deck in Wild includes even more healing alongside a number of buffs which you can choose to use on the opponent's minions meaning even more potential progress per game. 
The list feels pretty good, but if you find that Lightforge Cariel is hiding at the bottom of the deck too frequently, consider swapping Lorekeeper Polkelt into either of these decks to make drawing her more reliable. So the question is, how long will it take to prove that you are worthy of the achievement points from this one once it's working properly? Good luck making it a quick hunt. And that's a wrap. If you found this helpful, drop a like. Your support will increase the vitality of this video within the YouTube algorithm, meaning it will protect the innocent achievement hunters who are looking to overcome any of these which feel like immovable objects from missing this guide. We'll be covering the rest of the Fractured in Alterac Valley gameplay achievements as well, so be sure to check back or subscribe so that YouTube can sound the cavalry horn when our videos come out. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy participating in experiments live, check out our stream at twitch.tv forward slash SS Alchemist. We currently stream on Saturdays and Sundays. And remember, you're awesome. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.